Hey, good morning. Welcome to Business Growth Accelerator Live. Simple strategies for serious business owners who want solid results. Now I tell you, I've been reading this hilarious book, Humble Pie, a comedy of maths errors. And it just staggers me, just the errors that have been making uh, in the world with the maths and engineering. Um, and it just looks at some of the big numbers that we have. I just want to read you this bit here. All right. We know a million, a billion, and a trillion are different sizes, but we often don't appreciate the staggering increases in them. Now, it says here, a million seconds from now is just shy of 11 days and 14 hours. Not bad. I could wait that long. It's within two weeks. A billion seconds is over 31 years. Now, when we come to a trillion seconds, though, and again, this is how uh, time and numbers come exponentially bigger and bigger. If a billion is around 31 years time in seconds, then of course a trillion is around 31,000 years. That is just amazing. I won't be around to uh, uh, worry about uh, a trillion seconds. But it goes on to just uh, outline just some of the uh, issues we have with maths and engineering and spreadsheets and buildings and just how they have to tension bridges so that they don't have um, the shaking and this torsion distortion that they have. And what fascinated me is that reading through here, the amount of spreadsheets, because we all use Excel spreadsheets, the amount of spreadsheets that have one wrong formula that exponentially stuff up the rest of any spreadsheets that you might have within the Excel because you put them forward. And it got me thinking about business, you know, because in our business, we're constantly making mistakes. All right, let's be fair about it. Every day something comes along where you think, I wish I'd done that differently. But the difference with our business is that we can actually make the changes. We don't have to wait a billion seconds or a trillion seconds to try and make the changes. Because that is about learning. And often we say, oh man, I failed in that. Now, we never fail in business unless we don't capture the learnings. Because FAIL is an acronym for First Attempt in Learning. And in business, we're learning all the time. And that's why it's so fundamentally important also to find someone who's actually been there before you. All right, And I'm unabashedly going to say this, you need a mentor. Someone who has actually been in business, they don't have to have been in your industry, but been in business and made the mistakes. And quite often I hear people say, oh, uh, what experience have you got in my industry? You won't know my industry because I'm unique. That's rubbish. And let me tell you why. All right, everyone in business, whether you have a product or a service, you put that up on the shelf here. You want someone else to come along and buy it. It's how you market that product or service. It's how you put it out into the media that people will then buy. So, sorry, but your product or service isn't unique because you're trying to sell your product or, or service. You might be unique in the way that you package it so people go, wow, I really like that. Um, I'm going to buy that one and maybe not your competitors. But you're still selling a product or a service and that's fundamentally important. Can I also say this? Once you've got your product or service there, it's actually putting it out there. And you are going to make mistakes along the way. Make no bones about it. Every business owner, you're going to make mistakes. But like your GSC result, GCSC results, as you say over here, all you need to do is to be right 51% of the time and you're on the right side of the ledger. If you're like me in my school seat, because I was back in New Zealand and it was 49% of the time, you didn't quite make it. But the thing is, I learned from it. And when I went for my UE, because I learned from my mistakes from uh, fourth form and fifth form, I was able to implement those mistakes into learnings so that I sort of flew through uh, the next couple of years of school. So it's fundamentally important that when you're in business, all right, and you know that there's been a mistake, fix it. But think about, hey, what went wrong? How come it went wrong? Look at what the learnings were so you can embed the learnings so you don't make the same mistake fundamentally important that when you get the learnings and you just don't rush headlong into trying to make a quick fix. Because if you look in business, and this book also says 
some of the quick fixes that people have tried to put into uh, uh, the spreadsheet or the building of the bridges or the uh, big skyscrapers have only exacerbated the problem and made it even worse, which is costing them twice as much in financial terms and in terms of time to fix that original mistake. Had they taken the time to actually think about it, to what I term, to breathe through your nose first, then they could have actually put a fix onto the problem more quickly than uh, just trying to go into it quickly. So there you go. If you want to um, have a, a fun book and just some of the, look at these uh, a comedy of maths errors, it's a guide by Matt Parker, Eating Humble Pie. I shake my head, and I'll tell you, I shake my head because I'm embarrassed because I'm thinking, do you know what? If I was an engineer, I probably could have made that mistake as well for the simple fact that I'm in business and I know the mistakes that I've made in the past. And I shake my head, I really do, at some of the stupidity that I've got myself into in business. Whereas if I'd just taken a little bit of time to think, I wouldn't have actually made that mistake and the business day would have been a lot smoother and I would have had to do some firefighting over the next two or three days. This is fundamentally important um, when we're talking about customers because look at what's happened in the European or the um, um, European Super League recently. All right, we've got a whole lot of business owners who are allegedly want to make even more money to the detriment of the fans. All right, they have made a fundamental mistake in a maths errors thinking they can make even more money, but they haven't taken on the fact that there are fans in the game. And fans throughout Britain here, it's been phenomenal, have come out against these big six clubs and said, no way are you doing that to our game. All right, we're fans and we actually believe in the football and we believe in promotion and relegation. Because when you have a league where there's nothing to play for, nothing hinges on it. These fans actually know this. I believe some of the players have come out as well and said, no, we don't want it. The managers have been put in a really invidious position by uh, the owners of these clubs. And I applaud the fans and I applaud the managers for actually taking a stand and saying, no, that's disrupting our game. All right? We're actually not going to have this. And power, the people power, has actually uh, embraced the fact that you just can't do that to the people's game. In fact, I believe even the royals have come out, the prime minister has come out in it as well. So it just goes to show that when you make an error, all right, it can have far-reaching consequences. And my understanding is that only Arsenal have come out and apologised. So the other five clubs uh, in Britain so far have been quite bland in their responses. And if my understanding's correct, Manchester City have come out with a very, very bland uh, apology. And that comes down to, to your integrity. Put your hand up, say you've made a mistake, all right, and then move on. People will accept genuine mistakes in your business if you've made a mistake. Put your hand up and rectify it as quickly as possible because this comes to your integrity. It may cost you money. It'll probably definitely uh, cost you embarrassment as has happened to me many times. But the thing is, as soon as you actually acknowledge your mistake, no one can have a go at you anymore. It's done and dusted. All right, it's as simple as that. People go, oh, okay, you've admitted it. Okay, what's going to happen? What are you going to do to put it right? You then put it right, and people will accept that. They go, fair enough. Hey, you've done what you say you're going to do by putting it right. I'll live with that. Your integrity is still intact. Your professionalism is still intact. So there you go. There's the tip for the day. Just a comedy of errors. If you do have those comedy of errors, then please rectify it as uh, soon as possible. Put your hand up to the mistake like the uh, uh, European Super League uh, uh, clubs have done, albeit quite slowly. And it's amazing what happens and you'll be able to get your uh, clients to remain with you and be raving fans. Now, if you've liked this tip today, somewhere around here, um, you'll see Business Growth Accelerator. Please join us because we do these hints and tips every morning, 10 past nine, five days a week. Please like it, share it, uh, let your friends know about it, and I look forward to seeing you tomorrow morning again, 10 past nine. In fact, tomorrow we're actually coming to you 
uh, because we're doing a three-day boot camp. So I'm going to be talking to you about that tomorrow. See you tomorrow.